Good day, grade 2. Today we're going to have a lesson that will surely be very helpful for you. And the title of our lesson is Visualizing and Solving One-Step Routine and Non-Routine Problems Involving Addition of Whole Numbers. And to start, we'll have our story time. And the title of our story is Recycling to Help. One day, Greg and Jim decided to collect empty bottles for recycling as part of the fundraising program in their school to help those who were affected by the Taal volcano eruption. Greg collected 112 bottles while Jim collected 67 bottles. How many bottles did they collect in all? To find out the sum of the bottles, that the two boys collected, we will do addition with some steps to follow. We are going to follow the Gapesa method. So, Gapesa means for G, what are given, for A, what is asked, for P, what is the process to be used, for E, what is the equation, for S, what is the solution, and A, what is the answer. So in the word problem, Gapesa will be like this. So for D, the given are Greg's 112 bottles and Jim's 67 bottles. For A, what is asked is how many bottles did they collect in all? For P, the process that we are going to use is addition. For E, the equation or number sentence is 112 plus 67 equals n. And the solution is 112 plus 67 equals 2 plus 7 is 9. 1 plus 6 is 7. And then let's just bring down 1. That's why we have the answer is 179 bottles. So 112 plus 67 is, of course, it's 179 bottles in all. So the two friends were able to collect 179 bottles in all. Now, let's have another example. So Hans has 151 pens, while Bill has 33 pens. How many pens do they have in all? In the word problem, the peso will be like this. The given are Hans 151 pens and bills 33 pens. What is asked is how many pens do they have in all? The process that we're going to use is addition. For letter E, the equation or the number sentence is 151 plus 33 equals N. And the solution is 151 plus 33 equals 1 plus 3 is 4. 5 plus 3 is 8, and then let's just bring down 1. That's why we have, the answer is 184 pence. So, 151 plus 33, we have 184 pence in all. There you go. So, another example, Dan has 121 marbles, while Jello has 59 marbles. How many marbles do they have in all? So in the word problem, the peso will be like this. So the given are Dan's 121 marbles and Jello's 59 marbles. What is asked is how many marbles do they have in all? Letter P is the process that we're going to use is addition. For E, the equation or number sentence is 121 plus 59 equals N. And for letter S, the solution is 121 plus 59 is 1 plus 9 is, of course, 10. And we are going to regroup 1. So we have here 1 plus 2 equals 3. And then, of course, 3 plus 5, we have 8. And then let's just bring down 1. That's why we have the answer is 180 marbles. So 121 Plus 59 is 180 marbles because we have 1 plus 9 is 10. And then let's regroup 1. 
here. So we have 1 plus 2 is 3, and then 3 plus 5 is 8. And then let's just bring down 1. That's why we have 180 marbles in all. Another example, Jim has 186 oranges, while Neil has 40 papayas. How many fruits do they have in all? So in the word problem, the peso will be like this. For letter G, the given are Jim's 186 oranges and Neil's 40 papayas. For letter A, what is asked is how many fruits do they have in all? For letter P, the process that we're going to use is addition. For letter E, the equation or number sentence is 186 plus 40 equals N. And the solution is 186 plus 40, we have 6 plus 0 is 6, and we have here 8 plus 4 is 12, and we're going to regroup 1 here in the hundreds place. That's why we have 1 plus 1 is 2. So the answer is 226 fruits. 186 plus 40, we have 6 plus 0, of course it's 6. 8 plus 4, we have 2 or 12, and we are going to regroup 1. So 1 plus 1 is 2, and we have 226 fruits in all. In solving one-step problems involving addition, we are going to follow the GAPESA method. So again, for letter G, what are given? For A, what is asked? For P, what is the process to be used? For E, what is the equation? For S, what is the solution? And for letter A, what is the answer? Great job, my dear grade 2. Now you already know how to use GAPESA in solving problems using addition.